Hi and welcome to the course. My name's Rob Power and I'll be your instructor for this term and I'd just like to take a few minutes to get you familiar with what we'll be doing this term. This presentation is going to go over a number of key points about the course. Uh, first I'll tell you a little bit about myself. We'll talk about the purpose of the course. I'll show you a little bit about how to get started with using the course site. We'll talk a little bit about course readings and what you'll be doing in week one of the course. I'll talk a little bit about uh, our Adobe Connect classes and how to participate in those. And we'll take a couple of minutes to go over our assignments and activities for the term. So first of all, again, let me welcome you to this course, EDUC 5405. My name is Rob Power, and I have spent a number of years working as both an IT instructor and as an instructional developer. I spent a number of years working overseas, actually, at a Canadian college called College of the North Atlantic Qatar in Doha. I am an avid fan of The Simpsons, and I'm also a huge fan of Star Wars. So a little bit more about my professional background. I started off my career in broadcast journalism back in the 90s with a radio station in Newfoundland, Labrador. And then I headed into the education sector where I did my BED and my Master's of Education at Memorial University. And I spent a few years working in the K-12 sector as a technology and learning resources teacher back in Newfoundland, Labrador. And then I moved over to Doha, Qatar in 2005. I started working there as an IT instructor and the ICDL Training and Testing Center Coordinator, and then did a couple of years working as an instructional developer with the Advanced Learning Technology Center at CNAQ. And I also did a lot of work in teacher professional development, both with the ICDL program and with ICT Qatar. While I was overseas, I also started my doctoral studies with Athabasca University. I completed that in 2015 with a focus on uh, teacher preparation and instructional design for mobile learning. And I got involved with a group called the International Association for Mobile Learning. I've been a member at large with the executive of that group since 2013. And right now I'm working as the leader of online learning with Fraser Health in Surrey, BC. And I'm also teaching some educational technology courses with institutions like UOIT. So a little bit about the purpose of EDUC 5405. Uh, we're going to be analyzing and evaluating the potential of digital technologies for adult learners. And we'll be taking some time to explore technologies that are unfamiliar in our personal and professional contexts. And some of the topics we'll be looking at this term, uh, using digital technologies for communication, social interaction, collaboration, accessing and creating information, information processing, and any other topics of interest that come up throughout the term. started with this course. Well, the course is going to be hosted using UOIT's Blackboard Learning Management System. So you go to the Blackboard login page. And Again, you should see a screen like this with a list of your courses under the My Courses block. You'll see Digital Tools for Adult Education listed there. And once you get inside the course, you should see something that looks like this. There might be a little bit more information under some of those blocks by the time the course starts. And you should start by looking for the uh, menu block on the left side of the screen and click on Content. That'll get you into the content for the course. Once you're in there, you'll see that I have a number of modules already created for you, and you should click on Start Here to get started for the term. Under the Start Here module, you'll find a copy of the course outline, uh, some information on the course readings, an overview of the assignments, a quick survey on getting started, and how to contact me. So one of the first things that I'd like you to do once you get into the course and find the Getting Started module is take my EDUC 5405 Getting Started survey. It should only take you a minute or two. It'll ask you a few questions to help me get to know you a little bit better and to know your preferences for things like participating in the Adobe Connect sessions. 
Returning to our uh, course contents, you'll notice that uh, there's a module for each week of the course, and these modules will give you some information about uh, what the topics are for the week. A quick overview, if there's any assignments due that week, they're also pointed out in the uh, topic overview. If we take a quick look at week three here, uh, you'll notice that there's information in there about the Adobe Connect session for that week. And there's also a, a number of other things listed under the module, including our readings for the week, assignments that are due, and any other useful resources you will need for the week. You can access discussions from that same left-hand block from the course homepage. And there's also links to the discussions under the weekly modules. And you can also, from the home page, access your grades for the term and see what your progress is like. So a little bit about the course readings. I have tried wherever possible to put direct links to the course readings in each of the weekly modules. So here, for example, are the weekly readings for week one. And under the Getting Started module, you'll also notice that there is a complete list of the course readings as of the start of the term, a complete bibliography. So you can download that and help get yourself organized right from the beginning of the term. But one thing that you will need to do, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't put a direct link out to this textbook, and this is a critical one that we'll be looking at this term, uh, Dirksen's Design for How People Learn, Voices That Matter. You'll need to get a copy of this ebook from either uh, the Kindle version from Amazon, or you can also get uh, the ebook version through Chapters Indigo. You should get that book as soon as possible once the course starts so that you're not left scrambling trying to find it and uh, getting behind once we get to those readings. So what are we going to look at in week one? Well, the first thing is to go over the getting started area and look at the course outline as well as the readings, the assignment overview, uh, do that uh, getting started survey I mentioned and find out how to get in touch with me. You should do that as quickly as possible to get yourself fully familiar with the course. And if you look at the week one module, we're gonna start off with a little introductions activity. I've decided to work some ed tech into this instead of the typical uh, little blurb in the discussion form to tell us a bit about yourself. We're gonna use a tool called ThingLink to make an interactive image that will tell us a little bit about you. Our readings for week one again, we're gonna be reading a chapter from John and Anderson's Teaching Crowds as well as watching a video, a TED Talk video called Connected But Not Alone. I've also got a little reading in there called Optimizing Your Time on the Course Readings, which has got a video in it, some great tips in there on how not to get overwhelmed with all the readings that we have this term. Uh, there's a link under week one uh, to the assignment overview for assignment two, which is your weekly learning blog or video log. And uh, you'll be expected to submit a number of these, at least eight of them throughout the term. And you need to have at least two of them ready by the 28th of May. And basically what I want you to do with this is to reflect on what you're learning throughout the term and how it's actually helping you to achieve your goals for the course. So to uh, post your link to your blog or vlog, we're going to share those with each other. I've set up a wiki inside of Blackboard. So you click on the wikis button and then click, uh, click the launch. And you should come to a screen that looks like this. Click on this uh, item here. And you should see a wiki that looks like this. Just click on edit the wiki content, find the first blank line, enter your name, and put in the URL to the wiki that you've set up to the uh, blog. So each week we're going to be having some synchronous class sessions using Adobe Connect. It's a fairly straightforward system with a lot of useful tools that will help us uh, to participate in a live class session. And each week I've put in a direct link to our meeting room as well as the dates and times of our sessions and the topics that we'll be looking at. I also have some general notes in there under the week one Adobe Connect session that you'll need to take note of. So our first session is going to be on Tuesday, May the 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And our topics will be an overview of the course and building our learning community. 
and there's the link to our Adobe Connect meeting room. Now, before you get into the synchronous clash, you should do this ahead of time, is test your connection to make sure that you have no problems connecting to the Adobe Connect system. I've put a direct link in there to help you do that. And I've also got a note here that due to our large class size, we're going to actually split the class into two groups. So for each class session, you'll only be participating for 90 minutes instead of the full three hours. So group A will go for the first half of the class from uh, roughly 6 Eastern to 7.20. And group B will go from 7.40 to 9 p.m. Now, one other thing that I'd like to note, please use a headset microphone when you're logging into Adobe Connect. If you don't use a headset microphone, uh, the built-in microphone in your computer tends to pick up a lot of background noise, uh, everything from uh, dogs barking or kids uh, squealing in the background to clacking on the keys. And it gets very difficult fellow students. So I guess you want to know a little bit about what you'll actually have to turn in for this course and what your assignments will look like. Let's take a look at that. We are going to have uh, four major assignments for this term. The first of those is the participation grade. So participating in the Adobe Connect sessions, uh, participating in the weekly discussion forums, uh, participating in things like uh, creating the ThingLink uh, uh, introduction, as well as a number of activities throughout the term. And there's a detailed rubric uh, on the course site to tell you how you'll be evaluated for that. You'll have your weekly log, uh, your blog or your vlog for 24%. There's eight of those due, at least two entries completed by the 28th of May. We're going to do an assignment where you actually assess a digital tool that hasn't been used in class or hasn't been explored formally in class, and you can work in pairs on that one. And you'll complete a lesson plan that incorporates digital technologies to help adult learners. So your first assignment uh, you'll find under the assignment overview section under getting started is the uh, community contribution, participation and attendance. And there is a rubric in there for that, like I said. And you'll also find descriptions of all the other assignments. So what you're expected to do as a participant in this course is to contribute regularly to the discussions and follow some basic rules of netiquette. So ensuring that you're on time for the Adobe Connect classes and that your equipment's configured properly, actively participate in group discussions and uh, contribute uh, politely and supportively, uh, include questions to stimulate the discussion, respond directly to uh, questions or requests, whether they're by email or in the discussion forums as promptly as possible, and submitting all of your assignments and activities on time. For your weekly learning blog, you're expected to post at least eight original blog posts throughout the course. You can post more. Uh, the posts should be related to the course topics and activities that have been explored, uh, your individual and group learning activities, and how they relate to your overall goals for the course. So a good blog should provide some insights into what you've learned about the topics, what questions you still want to explore, how the activities have helped or hindered your learning process. It's always good to reflect on things that are holding you back as well. Uh, how your activities have helped you get closer to reaching your goals for the course, including what uh, problem you want to solve with your final lesson plan, and what you could, should do to become a more effective teacher, learner, or group learning participant. And of course, uh, while it is going to be in a blog format, you do have to consider proper APA format for things like references and putting in charts and figures. For the assessing a digital tool assignment, assignment number three, you can work individually or with one partner. You'll select a digital tool that hasn't been formally explored in the course, prepare a short paper uh, in standard APA format uh, that gives us an introduction and description of the tool, an overview of how that tool might help you to attain the goals or solve the problems that you'd like to address in your lesson plan for assignment four. A discussion of how the tool could facilitate teaching and learning with adult learners in the context of what we've been looking at in the course. And a discussion of the suitability of the tool in the context of your learner audience and your identified learner needs. And your final assignment is going to be a lesson plan and this will be a two part assignment. So the purpose of this is to actually apply the theories, concepts, and tools that we're going to explore throughout the course. You're going to develop a complete lesson plan that integrates digital tools to address uh, teaching and learning need or needs uh, for adult learners in your own context. 
The topic of the lesson can be anything of your choice, preferably something from your own context, either as a teacher or as an adult learner. And if you do not currently teach adult learners, a good idea would be to consider your classmates in the course as your target audience. You're also going to prepare uh, not only the complete lesson plan, but a poster about your lesson plan that will summarize some of the key points. We're going to share the lesson plans in the discussion forums, and we're going to share our posters in an Adobe Connect session during the final week of class. And this is the general assessment rubric for uh, graduate education studies at uh, UOYT. And we'll be using uh, this rubric or some version of this rubric adapted from this rubric to assess your assignments throughout the term. This information is also available in Blackboard, but if you want to get a hold of me, my UOIT email address is just rob.power at uoit.ca. I've also provided my personal email address, and there's my Twitter link if you'd like to follow me. I frequently post uh, links to uh, resources that would be interesting to students in my courses. And you can find out more about me from my ePortfolio, robpower.weebly.com. So thank you and enjoy the term. I look forward to meeting you in Adobe Connect.